Hi guys, today I wanted to share a story that I wrote about my dog. Um, this story is called Dog Memoir, and this is really a story. I'm a Jack Russell Terrier, and this is my story. When I was eight weeks old, Kevin and Sarah came to adopt me. They became what they called my parents. My parents spoiled me right. They told everyone I was their fur baby, whatever that means. I love going on car rides with them. I was always supposed to sit in the back, but somehow I always managed to get my way to the front. I could bark at other dogs easier that way. Sometimes we play fetch. I love a good ball. But it took me a while to figure out that to play, I had to actually let the ball go. I also loved wood, but Mom said I could only see six. Apparently, our steps and wood blocks were all living. How was that enough? Well, I was pretty laid back. I sure was not a fan of costumes. My mom said, sometimes you have to do things you don't always like for the people you love. And now, I suppose that's true. When I was three, my life changed. My parents told me I was getting a new sister. I was so excited about that. I played on mom's tummy every night listening to my baby sister inside. When she came home, I immediately knew it was her. My parents said her name was Parker. I couldn't wait to kiss her face, but my papa said I was not able to do that. She got bigger. I was so worried that something was going to happen to Harper when she first came home that I refused to go to sleep. I would lie next to Harper's bed, and whenever I drift off to sleep, I would jump up to stay awake. As Harper got older, I followed her everywhere. We loved to play outside together during the day. At night, we would spend our day cozied up in bed. When Harper and I couldn't be together, I'd always lay on the chair in the living room. It provided the perfect spot for me to be able to watch for her to come back home. When I was six, I got another sibling. His name was Boston, and I was so excited to meet him too. Boston wasn't quite as calm and quiet as Harper. It took me some time to get used to but I was happy that he was sticking around. As my brother and sister got older, our family went on a lot of adventures. I got to go on most of our family's adventures, but on one particular trip, my family decided to leave me behind at a boarding facility, not knowing what was happening. When they returned after a six day vacation, I know it's really I lost a lot of weight. My parents rushed me to the emergency hospital. The veterinarian told my family I had an advanced form of chemical and might not make it. My parents chose to take me home to spend my last night by their bedside. My family prayed a lot for me that night. God heard their prayers because the next day I woke up feeling a bit better. It took some time, but I finally was able to act a little more like me. After I got sick, the doctor said I was never going to be quite the same. It was hard for my family. I no longer wanted to run and jump around. However, I still liked to play with them for a little while, even if I wore myself out easily. We spent the next year together making all the memories that we could. Christmas was my favorite. My family made it one to remember. Santa even brought me toys and treats from his workshop. It was close to 
2022, I had to start going to the doctor weekly. The doctor said my heart wasn't that strong anymore. I could no longer sleep with my sister because it hurt too much to get up and down in her bed. But that was okay because two of my brothers started sleeping in bed with me. We spent a lot of time together in my last few days. My family rode me around, took me to my favorite places, let me eat whatever I wanted, and let me spend my time Sundays and outside. It was my favorite thing to do at the end. On June 8th, after spending the absolute best day with my family, I crossed the Rainbow Bridge. My family was devastated. But they were also thankful for those last days and months with me. I was forever grateful for them and our extra memories too. This story was written to preserve my family's memory of me and loving memory of Ren Chapel. August 18, 2010 to June 28, 2008. We miss you, Remy Bruce. Thank <laughs> you.